about the hydrogen atom, we were only analyzing the motion of the electron. We were not talking about the proton. And furthermore, the hydrogen atom is not that interesting in the long run. Well, it is an interesting system for the fundamentals, but we're going to have to move on someday because a lot of the matter in this universe is not hydrogen, including most of the important matter. So most matter is composed of atoms with a lot more electrons than just one. And here's the woeful part. Those electrons interact with each other. Now, here's the key example. Helium, this guy right over here, with two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons orbiting around it. Yes, you should know this model is extremely outdated by now. We can't do anything about it. Helium, right here, doesn't just have the interaction of the electron with the proton, which is what we've been discussing for so much time. It has these, but that's fine, right? In this case, all you have to do is, well, the equation that we have to solve is h phi is equal to e phi for some Hamiltonian h and for some energy level e. And if we were in the idealistic world, where only these two reactions existed, what we could do is just write minus, uh, what was it, h bar squared over 4 pi epsilon naught. Um, now I'm forgetting it. Let's say partial x r1 squared psi minus h bar or e squared over e squared over 4 pi epsilon naught partial r2 squared psi is equal to e psi. Now, all you have to do is use separation of variables. Again, doesn't everybody love separation of variables? It's not really separation of variables, though, when you come to think of it. You just have the total solution is equal to the solution if there was only electron 1, multiplied by the solution if there was only electron 2. Wow, so that's interesting. Since the two electrons are functionally identical, we'll get to that in just a moment. Since the two electrons are identical, this is essentially just the hydrogen atom, but everything is multiplied by 2 squared. And so what that means is that, ostensibly, the minimum energy level Sorry. The minimum energy level is going to be multiplied by some power of 2. It's going to be multiplied by 8 according to our math here, right? But when we do this, we get minus 108.8 .8 electron volts. So what went wrong? Well, here's the thing. There is a third relation. And of course, with that third relation comes a third term. And this term is the thing that's going to cause all of the problems in our life. So this term is the devil. And of course, once you add a third electron in another energy cell, we'll explain why there has to be multiple cells in just a moment. Once you add an electron outside that, things just become worse and worse and even worse. Because now, oh, what's on the floor? Part of the floor itself is peeling off. You also have the interaction between these two and between these two, as well as the very benign interaction between the nucleus and this guy.